guys, thanks for tuning in at this channel. Today's topic will be a clean up shot. We'll remove this person from this shot. Cleaning up a shot is a very common task in film and visual effects. Either you need to remove an object, a sign, or like in this case, remove a person from a video. And if you are new to this topic, this tutorial would surely help you. But be warned, depending on the shot you work with, this process may take some time and it may be very tedious work at some point. So always keep this in mind. So now let's dive into the tutorial. Uh, first import your shot into After Effects and create a new composition out of it and um, take, a, take a closer look at what we're going to do. So as you can see we have two people walking towards this building and um, as we shot this um, there was a woman accidentally in the frame. She's behind this, these windows as you can see. And now our task is to remove this woman from our plate. So the way we're going to do this is to paint her out in Photoshop and to track this uh, painted out window plate back into the shot with a planar tracker. This planar tracker is called Mocha. It comes with After Effects. It's called Mocha 4AE in this case. And uh, now we're going to open it. So now let's um, click OK with this. And um, now let's look at what we have here. This is our shot we're going to work with. And now let's zoom in on our door, or is it, I think, I believe it's, it is a door, not a window. So now let's define our tracking region with drawing an X spline around these, um, I think, these window parts, these segments, um, you can call them. And um, make sure to be very accurate on this, because our final track depends on these splines. So now we've drawn these inside splines and now we're going to draw the outline around um, these segments. And make sure everything fits and is very accurate. And now the final, final tracking region is this red, red part, like you can see here. Okay, now we can place our corner pin. Um, to be able to check um, if our track was successful later on and um, if everything everything is is positioned as it should be we can hit track backwards since we started on the last frame we're now going to track this plate backwards So now tracking is finished and we can take a look on how accurate our track was. And since we hit stabilize in the top bar, this shot is um, centered around our tracking region. And you can see it is perfectly matched there. There's no sliding and um, yeah, this is great. We can work with this. Okay, now there comes a very important part. Um, you will see why later on. Make sure to be on the last frame, select our track and hit align surface. This will align our uh, corner pin um, so that it fills up our whole frame. And now we can export this as corner pin data compatible with Mocha 4 AE. Since we're going to use this program now to import our tracking data in After Effects, so click import, select our footage and hit OK. So now we've successfully loaded the tracking data into After Effects. So now let's move to the actual clean plating process. Make sure to be on the last frame of our composition since we set this up inside of Mocha um, before. And go to composition and export it as a Photoshop document location of your choice. So now we have this last frame ready for painting out the woman inside of Photoshop. To make our lives a bit easier with painting her out we now look for a frame where she doesn't cover the whole window and we're going to export this clean frame as a Photoshop document as well and use it to paint out um, this part in our final clean plate. So we simply don't have to clone stamp everything out by hand and um, yeah, have a bit less work to do.
Okay, make sure to always save your document. This is very important because After Effects tends to crash at some times. Not often, but it occurs. Open our clean plate with Photoshop. And um, turn off these extra lines. And uh, yeah, now we're going to import the second frame where she doesn't cover the whole window, you can see here. And we try to line this up by, um, by eye and um, it helps to reduce the opacity to match both frames so that it um, roughly lines up. Okay, this may take some time, but I think um, now we are finished. Almost, there are a few pixels. And now I think this matches enough so that we can work with it. Okay, um, now let's create a layer mask for our clean layer and uh, use the lasso tool to draw um, around these window segment. And um, now close up our spline. Refine the edge, make it a bit softer and make it a bit rounder so it uh, integrates better into our footage later on. Click OK. And um, now fill this part with white. So we've essentially replaced our, um, our window with the clean plate and the woman is gone, at least for this segment. And we're going to do something similar to the other segments as well, where we can see parts of her. But now let's um, better line up our, our clean plate so it fits better into the frame. And now it looks 100% naturally as if nobody was there. Okay, now let's, um, now let's look at this uh, window part, this small segment. And uh, since we have no clean plate for this, we need to clone stamp this arm out by hand. So take the clone stamp tool sample over there and draw over her arm to extend this wall behind her and um, try to to make it look naturally and try to avoid these um, repetitions as you can see here um, simply paint simply paint these reflections out and nobody will ever notice so i think this looks okay from a distance we do not need to be pixel accurate in this case this is not this is not necessary but um, be as accurate as it needs to be to look good so now it seems as if our arm has uh, disappeared So now let's tackle this last part since I can't see any window segment where she she is visible as well. So now we just need to do the same thing as we did before. We just um, take the clone stem tool and uh, clone her out manually. As you can see here, try to extend this reflection. And this may be difficult in some parts because um, there is um, there's a small just a small area to sample from, but um, be creative and always zoom out of the frame because nobody's ever going to to look that close to it. Um, everyone is, is going to see this shot from a distance, and um, you need to make it look good from uh, from a distance. Um, and um, yeah, you can do this just by zooming out and zooming in again, like you can see here. And now I think we we successfully removed the whole woman from our plate, at least for this frame. So now let's um, save this document, this Photoshop document, as our clean plate and go back to After Effects. Back in After Effects, again, make sure to be on the last frame and import our clean plate and merge it as a footage click ok and drag it into the composition and as you can see it works perfectly let's create a pre-comp out of it um, you can see why in a minute click ok and now go to mocha import plus 
select corner pin as the operation, click apply and uh, select one of these corner pins, it doesn't matter. Um, and click OK. So now our corner pin, the corner pin effect, with our tracking data has been applied to our clean plate, as you can see here. Um, so now our clean plate is perfectly tracked into our plate. Here you can see the corner pin. So now let's open up our pre-comp uh, with our clean plate. Um, and now let's draw some masks around um, the, these window parts because we simply just want the, the clean plate to appear wherever the, the woman was behind the window and not um, to fill the whole frame. This is very important since the clean plate otherwise would um, be overlaid on top of our uh, two moving characters. And um, yeah, we want to see them, see them of course, and um, yeah. This is why we just want the clean player to appear in this place, in these places. And um, we've done the masking inside a, a second pre-comp and not in the comp where we um, applied our corner pin effect because the corner pin effect and masks um, don't work together very well. Where, um, they give some very, very bad results because um, the corner pin is essentially transforming the frame and the, the mask doesn't doesn't accept um, in any way the, the corner pin. I don't know how, how this this works exactly, but uh, it's better to create a pre-comp. You can experiment with this on yourself, but um, this is the best way to do it. So now um, let's feather the edges of our of our newly created masks. And as you can see now the the, um, the the clean plate appears only in in this this area and um, doesn't overlay the rest of our shot. So this should be everything we need to do. This um, composition is um, nearly done. Um, let's just uh, quickly preview it, and as you can see, this works. Perfectly. Great. We did a great job with tracking and painting, painting out our woman. Okay, if it, um, if it slides a bit, um, you, can, you can always fix this, this small movement in this area with, um, with jumping back into our uh, pre-comp and with uh, f increasing the, the feather of the edges of our three masks. And um, this should eliminate most of the visible movement. And I think from a distance, it looks perfect. Nice, we did a great job. And uh, yeah, I think this was um, everything I want to tell you, um, because um, this, this was a very simple, simple example. Uh, it gets a bit more difficult if we have um, um, a bit more movement, if we have a three-dimensional movement and um, this, this shot was made on a tripod. Of course, we can use simple planar tracking. It gets a bit, bit more difficult if uh, we have people walking in front of our, of our cleanup works since we have to rotor them out. Um, but this was a good shot for beginners, I think. Thanks for tuning in again. If you liked this tutorial, if it was helpful, make sure to leave a like and uh, feel free to ask questions in the comment section. I always appreciate answering them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.